Welcome to the People on Internet. My name is Tyler. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a simple cloth simulation that uh, I personally use just for a uh, bit cheats in my uh, room project that I just did recently. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, switch over to the FX tab to have all of our options set for the uh, cloth simulation. So, uh, first of all, we're going to do we're going to select our plane, and before we actually do anything, we want to make sure this is high poly count just so that uh, the bends look more natural and so they aren't super jagged. So we're gonna up this, uh, we'll do 70 just to make sure it's really high. So as you can see, so uh, now that we have that, we're gonna go to end cloth and we're gonna hit create end cloth. So uh, now it has been created, I believe there's an arrow inside of this key of just telling it uh, what is up and what is down. So now that we have this, uh, we are going to tell the computer what uh, what is a solid to this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to end cloth. We're going to create create a passive collider. And so now uh, when this drops, it will interact with the cube and start bending. So all we need to do now is make sure you have your play uh, play header. I believe if you go into Windows and you go to UI elements, it should be in here, it's called time slider, so just make sure you have that. Now what you need to do now, you can either uh, scroll through this or you can just hit play and the cloth will start falling and then whenever you want it to stay, you just hit OK. I mean, uh, pause, but yeah. So uh, now that we have our cloth looking realistic, let me just turn this off. So this is what it looks like. So a very simple process for something that um, could take one person hours and hours. It's easier just to let the computer do it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.